Now, going back to 2015, where I started my data science journey from a Java developer. The program I took was around <clears throat> 35,000 or something. But in case you want to get into an industry level problem, at least you should work with three or four algorithms. LSTM. LSTM is also one of the most important algorithms. Time series analysis and forecasting. One of the modules in data science that is by far, as per me, by far one of the toughest and one of the most important sections in the field of data science. Yet this thing is often neglected in many online courses, many online programs. Even if they do include time series analysis, the portion of time series is very, very less. Now I'm talking about this particular topic very openly and based on my analysis. When I start interviewing people about time series forecasting, whenever they have mentioned something in the resume, when we deep dive or dig in, most of the students are not able to answer because they are taught less. Now, going back to 2015, where I started my data science journey from a Java W. The program I took was around <clears throat> 35,000 or something. I don't remember the exact amount, but it was a hefty amount. It was not 5,000, five, 10,000. It was 35,000. I also checked. I do have the login credentials right now. I also checked this before doing this video. Time series analysis and forecasting was completely ignored in my program. There was classification, regression, and directly to association, and then recommendation, and then few other topics time series analysis and forecasting was not there. But when I started my job, started my journey as a data scientist, the very first use case I started working on was time series forecasting using Arima, using Winter, using Facebook Profit, multiple other algorithms. I was stuck. I was not aware of these things. Then I started learning about time series forecasting started checking multiple programs, multiple courses, and I realized that this is something that has been neglected. Even in today's world, time series analysis and forecasting has been added to most of the programs, but there are many, many programs where it is still not available. And if it is available, the level of knowledge that you should be aware of before jumping into a live industry level problem or before jumping into as a data scientist, the level of knowledge given in that program is very, very limited. I'm stating that because of my experience, because of my interaction with various students. Talking about time series analysis and forecasting, the concept is very simple. The concept is adapted from regression. So in case you want to get into this field, you need the concepts of regression. However, regression is not that important when it comes to industry level problems. We do not solve regression problems. Rather, there are many, many time series problems that we solve in industries. So time series is important. Regression is not, but without regression, you cannot learn time series. Now, what is time series? Time series is something that is having time series data or time data with equal intervals. Let's say you have data for 1st Jan, 2nd Jan, 3rd Jan, 4th Jan, dot, 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 let's say end of September. And you want to do a forecasting of October or November or December. That is time series analysis and forecasting scenarios. Now there are multiple algorithms to talk about. Algorithms like ARIMA, different flavors of ARIMA, ARMA, ARIMA, seasonal ARIMA, SARIMA, seasonal ARIMAX, and holds winter, holds winter linear, holds winter exponential, Facebook profit, n bits, neural profit, many, many algorithms. But in case you want to get into an industry level problem, at least you should work with three or four algorithms. LSTM. LSTM is also one of the most important algorithms. Now, talking about where to study. Where to study is where everything gets stuck. My channel already has a two hours video on time series analysis and forecasting. I used to go live very often on every Sundays to teach multiple topics. And one of these topics was time series analysis and forecasting. Link will be here and in the description below as well. Go ahead, check it out. It covers majorly everything about time series analysis and forecast. Apart from that, portfolio projects. My channel already has multiple portfolio projects related to time series analysis and forecasting. Bitcoin forecasting, 
foreign exchange rate forecasting, univariate, multivariate forecasting, multiple videos are there in case you are confused. All the links will be in the description below. Is this enough for you to get started with time series analysis and forecasting? Is this enough to get started with a portfolio project building for yourself? I would say yes, but in case you want to get into this field more, in case you want to learn more about this, I'm not suggesting my program. By taking my program, obviously you'll have to pay something. Without paying also, you can leverage my channel videos. Trust me, it's going to help you for sure. But in case you want to deep dive, you want to gain more knowledge in a structured format, keep the videos with you so that in the future you can go through it and come back and revise and all those things then i have one of the programs on zapanalytics.com and it is at a 60 percent off right now so the course fees will be 799 instead of 1999 it has multiple projects there are three projects inside it apart from that in 799 you also get 24x7 chat support and certificates well i'm only taking the fees for more contents and 24x7 chat support. People often neglect that chat support se kya milega and all those things. But trust me, if you get into any new domain, new field, most of the times you will not get help from anybody. Chat GPT helps to a certain extent, but I have always told if you are a complete beginner in a new field, do not trust chat GPT or any other LLM models because a human being or somebody who has experience will only be able to help you, not any chat GPTs and all those things. So in case you want to do that, please enroll for the program. End to end videos are taught, including decomposition, including seasonality, how to test seasonalities, ARIMA, ARMA, Facebook profit, multiple things are taught. Go ahead, check out the link in the description and check out the curriculum. See if the features are worth it. If you want to put in the money, worth it, take it. That's all about this particular video. In case you want me to work on some time series forecasting problems, give me the problems because finding a use case is difficult. If you have anything in mind, you want me to work on that, please let me know in the comment section and trust me, I will do that. Even though I am a small channel, people do not know more about my channel, but still, if you have any request, please do that as part of the comment section and i will come back with a new video that's all about this particular video see you in the next video till then